Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys why you shouldn't download the recently released iOS 14 public beta 4 onto your iOS devices. So make sure to watch the entire video. So Apple has recently released their iOS 14 Public Beta 4, and in terms of software-wise, the iOS 14 Public Beta 4 is the same as the iOS 14 Developer Beta 4. So the Public Beta 4 has some major bugs which you do not want on your iOS device, so I strongly recommend you that you do not download this Public Beta 4, and I'll be showing you guys why. So after running the Public Beta 4 on my iPhone for some time, I can find out some bugs which I would like to tell you guys about. So as you can see, my battery is currently 60%. And I've only used this phone for about two hours. So dropping 40% in two hours, I feel that's a rapid drop and th there's a bug in the iOS. So I feel that the Apple will fix this in the later public betas. Okay, so the next major bug that I've noticed is that certain apps take a lot of time to process and load. For example, if I try to open this YouTube app, it, as you can see, this is, takes a lot of time to actually load any videos. And this is actually not normal. For example, if I go to my channel, and if I want to like play any videos, right? Then I want to click on the comments. The comments actually take time. Okay, so the next bug that I've noticed is that every single time I restart my iPhone, I have to repair my AirPods and they don't just connect how they would normally do in the previous iOSs. As you can see, I just restarted my iPhone and then I keep repairing it and this gets really annoying. Now that I have the public beta running for some time, I've noticed that my phone is actually getting really heated up and this is kind of not normal. So this problem never actually occurred to me in the previous iOS's and the previous betas. So I basically made this video to tell you guys that you might want to hold off on updating from to this uh, public beta because there might be some bugs which might spoil your iPhone or your iOS device. The problems that I stated in this video are on a case-by-case -case basis and they might not occur to everyone. For example, a lot of people are saying that their app crashes randomly, but this problem never occurred to me. So make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to get more videos like this, and make sure to share this video with friends and family and let me know in the comment section below if any of these problems that i stated in this video occurred to you or any other problems that occurred to you so that's it for this video check out my previous videos which are linked on screen because i talked about how to download ios 14 if you don't know how to do that and the top features up and i'll see you guys soon